Hi, this is Farrell. Welcome to Robot Todd, issue two, page 20. And this, uh, in the title of this, I mentioned toothbrush, just, well, you'll see later, but I do a little bit of toothbrush spatter. So this thumbnail page here, uh, this has been like sort of my warm up technique is like doing a little drawing on a separate piece of paper with a Sharpie. And I actually did it on like a backing board for like a comic, an old comic book. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this time I was, the previous page you can see on the left he's getting robot todd's getting zapped by like this ghost uh character that you've been following along it's the uh west wizard no the east wizard that was doing experiments on him but um yeah he's it's like his only weakness is ghosts you know so like it really messes him up to get a ghost come in contact with a ghost and uh yeah like fried his systems and stuff and i was thinking on the warm-up drawing I was trying to think of him maybe having a sequence where he's like falling forward, but rather than waste time with that, or and it's not wasting time, but I just wanted, I, I just felt like skipping ahead to the point where he's already laying on the ground. I, I originally was thinking maybe he's going to fall down the pit, but then I knew that in the script, I wanted, I, it was my idea to kind of have him be like on the edge of this pit so that these characters in a, a couple of pages ago that were watching him that, uh, so they can see him like while he's just kind of there frying in the sun or, you know, the just ex being exposed to the elements rather. Uh, so here's the sort of like finished pencil stage before I start inking. Um, I, I usually was do this thumbnail page and then do some really rough pencil, you know, after I, after I tape the page down and rule the panels out. Most of these pages are four panel pages. Occasionally there's like a three panel page or a splash page, but generally it's been four panel pages, most of the book. And this, I did a lot of like noodling on a lot more than I, I it's sort of like a, uh, the, the previous page is sort of a callback to that splash page. And so I, uh, on, on that page, I had, you know, all those little wires exposed and bolts and little spheres, little ball bearings and stuff coming out of them. So I wanted that uh, this page to have all that stuff just kind of laying around next to him or like kind of falling out like the wires and stuff. I wanted to sort of simulate like blood or whatever. At least that was the idea as I was drawing it. I was thinking like, oh, this is like his uh, brain and guts and all that stuff are just kind of falling out of him as he's trying to repair himself and and uh, get better. And so, yeah, here I am inking and I did a lot more ink work on this page than I normally do. Normally I just use the pen, this Faber-Castell pit pen. I have all my, uh, say this every time, <laughs> uh, sort of like my version of like and subscribe or whatever, but uh, I have all my materials listed in the description. I don't get any money for that or anything. I just, in case anyone has a, a question about like, what kind of pen do you use? Or what kind of brush do you use? Or what kind of ink do you use? I, it's all listed in the description of the videos and you can check it out. Um, someone, I, I just did a show recently and someone asked me what kind of pens I, like, what kind of pen is that? You know? Um, so, uh, yeah. And so this, this page, I did a lot more pen work than I normally do on these pages just because I wanted to, to, uh, you know, outline all the little wires and little doohickeys and stuff that are falling out of the poor little guy. And I wasn't sure about the dialogue on this page, but, um, I just ended up going with something kind of simple where I think I'd had that written in my notes app of can't move. And uh, I I wanted the ghost character to sort of be running away from him. Like in the previous page, you can see that it, the East Wizard shrinks down after coming in contact with Todd. And um, in this page, I was thinking as I was thumbnailing, it's like, oh, it'd be cool if it would just actually like crawled out of his body. Like the, the, the she was like, you know, shrunk down and was actually inside of him for a second. And then it kind of messed. So it's like there are repercussions for Todd, but also repercussions for the ghost. Like that was the idea of like, so she's diminished. And I actually had that written on the, on the previous page, diminished dimensions. And um, yeah, so it was like, the idea was like coming, you know, her coming out of the, you know, body. And this, this page wasn't really, it's, particularly challenging. It seems like usually every page, there's one part of it that really gets me. And this page, it, it wasn't, there wasn't really necessarily one of those things. Um, I would have been probably turned it in on, I turned it in, but you know, finished this video in time and not been late with a Patreon uh, post or whatever. If 
not for uh, I did a show on Saturday. I did like one of my first comic shows that I've done since before the pandemic. Really, um, it was this show called uh, Permanent Damage. It was at the Lloyd Center here in Portland, Oregon. It was a really great show. I had a good time, but it was you know several hours of the day. It was like you know I think the show went for like six hours. So it was like you know travel time and all that stuff. I mean, it was a local show, but, you know, packing up and getting ready for the show and driving and stuff. It was like, ate up a whole day of work that I normally would devote to this. So, um, kind of threw off my schedule a little bit. And plus, there's also, like, recoup time, I feel like. You know, it's like, anytime I do a show, there's, like, time I need just to sort of rest. And I haven't I haven't really uh, rested up since then, but... Um, you can see here that I'm using a brush to watercolor this. Um, I, I think it's coming up pretty soon that I start using the toothbrush, um, maybe in the next video session. But um, yeah, I use one of these Raphael 8404 brushes. And this, I actually found like a bunch more of those intense water liquid watercolor uh, little droppers that I was using for some of the wires and stuff on him. And at this point, I was feeling like, yeah, this page is looking really close to being done. I think this might have been um, maybe Saturday night that I, I did this part. Maybe it was Sunday. It might have been Sunday night. And then this morning, which is Monday, I started on it just to sort of touch up some stuff. And I was looking at the... I mean, there's a lot of, you know, the little wires and things that I, I wanted to sort of make sure. But the main thing is, like, I really wanted to punch up the ghost, you know, add some white to her to make her, like, pop out a little more. Because I felt like it sort of got muddy. And, you know, I had to have it dry first. And and the other thing was the pit in the first panel, especially. I wanted there to be more uh, kind of going on underneath to give it a little more dimension, you know, like uh, to show there's like a curve to the bowl and some more shadows and stuff. And the smoke too, which I'm going over right there, I went over with ink, just black ink. And then here's where I got the toothbrush. And I, I took a couple stills of it too, so you can actually see it in like uh, like a still of it, of what I'm doing. But um, basically I, I drop a little ink in the little bowl there and uh, I, I, tut, I tap the toothbrush in it. And then I take my, my right thumb holding the brush with my right hand and then take my right thumb and just kind of drag it along the bristles pointed at the pa paper. And I usually put like a piece of paper. And if I was really cool, I would put tape down all around it so it wouldn't get over the panel. But um, uh, I I was being lazy and wanted to get it done in time uh, or just trying to be as fast as possible. So I didn't want to put ink or put tape on it and so uh, I just put a piece of paper to kind of block the edges there you can see I just did it there and then splattered it around little areas and I wanted that to sort of feel like like spraying like oh there's like you know fluid like oil or uh, these little spheres that come out of you know these little tiny little spheres that make up his guts you know the interior parts and here I'm using a, uh, a blow dryer. And then I'm going over the panel borders with a pencil. I don't uh, ink the panel borders on this comic. Normally I have, there's my the old toothbrush that I use uh, that I've had for years. And I just, I, uh, yeah, I'd use it exclusively for uh, <laughs> for ink spatters. And I don't, uh, I don't brush my teeth with it anymore. But uh, <laughs> there you can kind of see a detail of the ghost. But I also wrote, something down from a Cormac McCarthy book that I was just listening to. Forgiveness has a timeline, while it's never too late for revenge. Felt like, not Robert Todd, but the ghost would probably be thinking something along those lines anyway. This is the finished page after I scanned it. Um, just scanned it this morning. There it is. Ink, watercolor, pencil, some uh, marker even, a little bit, and not much, and um, some spatter, some toothbrush ink spatter, which, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't use that often, that, that technique, but, um, oh yeah, I wanted to tell you too, uh, Monster Us, even though the crowdfunder is technically over, we still left up the page with the link. You can order the book and order it directly from us. So if I have been doing all the drawings, we're sending them all out this, this month. So we'll just keep it up and we do these little collaborative signatures. We collaborated on the cover too. 
And I have a Patreon. If you want to read all these Robot Todd pages, you can check it out there for two bucks a month. Thanks for watching.